Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to episode 6 of Q&A Sunday. We got a couple questions from you guys. Oh yeah, voicemails, tweets, YouTube messages, all kinds of good stuff. But check it out. I know you guys are probably looking at the room like, yo, it look mad different. I am currently on the other side of the room. I'm getting a new setup here. I have an entire desk. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the desk and what I have on it so far. Um, I just got a new monitor. I'll be doing an unboxing for that later tonight. But yeah, man, um, I'm kind of liking it. You know, I got desk space. I got space for all different kinds of stuff. And I'm feeling so good right now, man. I got a lot of energy. I can't wait to start playing video games again. I'm sorry that only made two videos this week. Uh, my hand, I smashed it at work. And, you know, it was hurting real bad. So, you know, I wasn't able to, like, use, like, crazy joysticks and, you know, be able to, like, hit the triggers and stuff like that so but i'm almost there with like making a full fist without it hurting but you know that's besides the point um let's hop into q a sunday episode six are you ready let's go all right first question of the day he wants to know if i'm going to score 100 points soon against the 2k cheese all right i got you i'm going to score 100 points with david i King carter i will do it for you next week i'm going to get the last two episodes of the playoffs out the way and then the first game of the season of my what is that third season in the nba with david i King carter i'm going to score 100 points for you break wilt chamberlain's record and i'm going to try to get a double double watch me work 12 minute quarters hall of fame let's get it <laughs> all right so next question you want to know what do I think about Nerlens Noel and how he's doing and what will he do? Well, let's put it like this. I have Nerlens Noel for Rookie of the Year just because I'm a Sixers fan. Of course, you know, we do have Alfred Payton. We have Andrew Wiggins. We have a lot of guys that have been playing all season long that has been doing great. But Nerlens is a monster, dog. You Defensively, he has to be on, like, rookie defensive team one. Like, there's no doubt about it, yo. All rookie defensive team, give that to him. Put him in there. That's all I got to say about that. But I think if he can stay away from the injuries, he's going to be a great power forward slash center in this league. And he has to put on more weight. Now, he does beast down low. Don't get me wrong. But he's a little frail, man. Some dudes be look, making him look bad out there, man. Boogie, when he play Boogie, Boogie be digging in that hands. I'm just saying. But, you know, put on some weight in their lands, man. You'll be good. All right, we have a very deep question here. Uh, he wants to know, what do I think the meaning of life is, in my own opinion? Um, in my own opinion, the meaning of life for me is to make sure that my kids are 100% good until the age of 18, whereas though I let them go into the world, let them see how it is, see how they fare, um, point them in the right directions, keep them out of trouble, make sure that my lady is good 100% for the rest of her life, and to make sure that my family and extended family, immediate family, all family of mine, make sure that if they are down and out in any way, I can help them out. And for me personally, for myself, is to be happy with the way my life turned out. Um, I'm not one of those people that dwell on the past and, you know, think about other things like, oh, I could have did this or I could have done that. Me, myself, I do things. I get out of the house. I'm not a homebody. So I go to the movies. I go skating. I go play basketball. I go to the park with my kids. Um, I take my girl out to dinner. Uh, I fly out a lot. I fly almost everywhere. Um, and, you know, I, I just get out, man. I, you have to enjoy life. You have to enjoy air. Like, you can't just sit in the house all day, watch television shows, and go to work. Me, I work three days a week. And for the other days, I'm either chilling with my family, making videos, or out and about. Sometimes I might make only two videos a week like I did today. Well, not today, but this week. Whereas though, yesterday, I went to a URL rap battle. I went to something that I enjoy, you know. Th these are the things that makes me happy. So, my meaning of life is pretty much awesomeness. Okay, so Kiki obviously don't watch my Twitch streams. Baby girl, I got a GTA Online crew, Team IKC, look us up. By the way, about my man, regular Dave, we are on different time zones, but we do ball out on a late night. I do got to get some games with him real soon because we got to get this money together, man. If we ain't going to get it together, who else can, man? Real rap. You know what I'm saying? The shenanigans with the Yerp squad. Like, we got to do it up. Just saying. 
Uh, uh, this this is a question that strikes me so much, man. Uh, Tyler Williams wants to know, why don't I play MLB games like that? Well, I did try out the 2K MLB, the last one that came out that, you know, just ended the whole shebang bang. Now, I didn't really like it that much. You know, it was okay. But the reason why I really don't get into MLB like that is because of my childhood. When I was growing up, my dad, for well, not forced me, but he pushed me extremely hard to play baseball. Like, when I mean I was playing t-ball at like four and five years old, I was one of those kids out there, man. And he, like, pushed me all the way up until I was 13. And when I tried to play basketball, he always, you know, kind of shot me down or said my grades weren't, you know, good enough to play basketball. But when baseball season came around... He would say, oh, it, you know, your grades didn't matter. You know, I just want to push you in the baseball thing. And, you know, it, it kind of, I guess, made me stray away from baseball like that. And, you know, I, I could play baseball games for the entertainment because I know, you know, all the lingo, all the positions and everything like that, what you have to do, the objective, everything like that. And I've played every position besides pitcher. So, you know, I kind of get a, a good feel of baseball. It's just my dad destroyed me, man. He damaged me. As a baseball player, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, I got mad trophies. Don't get me wrong. At my mom crib, I got like 13 or 14 trophies. But mm, mm, MLB is just, uh, it don't hit, don't hit home no more, man. Get it? Hit home. Never mind. Okay, so this guy wants to know if I like Justin Bieber. First of all, I'm a one woman man. You know, I, I don't, I don't swing that way. But uh, if Justin Bieber is willing to cut a check. I will set my little sister up with young boy. I'm just saying, look, Bree Bree, you're going to have to take this L for the team. You know what I'm saying? And even if you don't like Bieber, that's your fault. But if he cutting checks, we're going to have to get on the wave. I'm, I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, okay. I like this question. He wants to know what's my favorite Jordans ever, you know, or the ones I wish I had. The suitcases. Hands down, best Jordans ever because they came with this suitcase. Oh, my God. Listen. You didn't even have to have the Jordans on your feet. As long as you had the suitcase, you was rocking. I used to put my lunch in the suitcase. I used to put like folded up papers and like one composite book in the suitcase to take it to school. Like, oh my God, the suitcases was dope. When we used to play 7th Street basketball in Chester, like they literally gave an entire team suitcases. Like, oh my, what? Them young boys was balling back in the day. Like getting money yeah suitcases okay this question right here i really don't want to hurt anybody's feelings but it, it's not least favorite but it's more so what team will you know if their game came on at any given moment that i really wouldn't have any interest in watching not as you know least favorite team but i wouldn't want to watch a utah jazz game you know what i'm saying stockton and malone ain't dead no more so uh I ain't trying to watch. <laughs> okay, uh, this person wants to know if I can make iPhone 4 cases with this logo. Well, to answer that question, go ahead and check the link inside the description, ipodkingcarter.spreadshirt.com. iPhone 4 cases are now available because of you. See, I'm a nice guy. All right, so this person wants to know if I have a middle name and if I would consider ever moving from Chester. So to answer your first question, my middle name is Christopher. Um, to answer your second question, I have not lived in Chester since I was 17 years old. So uh, yeah, man, I've been out of Chester for uh, about 10 years now. So uh, yeah, I considered it and I did it. It was a great move. Green grass, like Drake said. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what's up, IKC? My name is Jaden Thomas. I'm from New Jersey. And my question is, what did you think about the Super Bowl? Hope you'll reach me. Well, use my question in the next Q&A. All right, peace. Okay, so uh, you want to know what I think about the Super Bowl. First off, my team didn't even make the playoffs, so I'm already salty. Uh, We're going to get that out the way. Uh, But I think that... Seattle should have given it to Beast Mode, you know what I'm saying? For every play at the one, you, you got to give it to Beast Mode, like every play. We ain't passing out here. You got to run the ball. I think that Tom Brady 
did an amazing job of the making a crazy comeback after Seattle made their comeback. And it was a game of the ages, man. But it was thrown away. You know, a lot of people blame the coach. A lot of people blame the quarterback. A lot of people blame the offensive coordinator. A lot of people blame the defensive coordinator. I don't know why. A lot of people blame the tall boy. They said, man, the only reason Beast Mode ain't running is because he couldn't wipe the juices off his hand. But we ain't gonna get into that. But uh, yeah, man, Super Bowl, it was a great game. You know, it was thrown away, of course, thrown away literally. But all in all, I enjoyed it. Hi, Carter. What's up, I Pi King Carter? I'm a big fan. I know you said, I know you said, answer me, answer your question. So I want to know how you got your player so good and everything. You know, I want to, I just want to talk to you and everything. Uh, that's it. See you later. Peace. Okay, so uh, to answer your first question, the way that I got my player so good is obviously, you know, I brought some VC. I played uh, a bunch of games. If you play seven games straight with my career, even if you play them and foul out, that is considered an attribute update bar. So you can easily get on a 99 within like a few hours. Um, also, I made sure that the dribbling moves that I picked were easy moves that you can manipulate the CPU um, as well as people online. The jump shot that I picked, I, I'm terrible when it comes to shooting online, but offline my shit is cash, like bad cash, like mm, like dirty money. But um, yeah, that's that's basically it, you know. VC attributes, and definitely I got them badges on deck. You know, I, I definitely play the game, but you know, that's it's just I've been playing 2K for so long. It's like. It's muscle memory. Like as soon as the controller's in my hand, like I'm, I'm, I'm the man with it. Like uh, this, hello, uh, my pop King Carter. Oh, uh, this is one of your big fans. Uh, just want to know why Xbox, why PS4 over an Xbox One? Okay, so obviously you want to know why I chose a PS4 over an Xbox One. When I first started YouTube, I had a PlayStation. Before I started YouTube, I had a PlayStation. I didn't get an Xbox until Xbox 360, which in fact was not Xbox 360 launch. The only reason I got an Xbox 360 is because I wanted to play with other YouTubers who were on Xbox. And the only way for me to play with them was to grab an Xbox. I grabbed an Xbox for like $100. Like I don't even think I spent 100 like i had to join with like the four gig drive in it like the old white joint you know what i'm saying like i had the old school joint component cable so you know that's the only reason i got an xbox other than that when ps4 got party chat and all of that i didn't need an xbox anymore i came back home back to my roots you know what i'm saying hey ikc i was just wondering if you could turn on any nba player who would it be and why um, I'm gonna have to say Michael Jordan. Uh, first of all, he three-peated twice. Actually has uh, made probably about one billion dollars. I guess that's probably like net worth. Yeah, I, I would want to be Michael Jordan. I wouldn't have the gambling problems like he does, so I would definitely do the right things with my money. Um, I don't even know if I would invest in anything. I would just keep investing in Jordans, um, making new brands. I guess I don't. I don't know. It's all about the money. Yeah, it's all about it's all about being comfortable. Yep, I, I, I would love to be comfortable. You know, you can have anything in the world with money. Yeah, you know, money can't buy happiness, but it, it goddamn sure can't buy you a hot chick, though. Hey, uh, Todd, I just want to know, what is your favorite YouTube series that you're putting up? My name is Christian Marimo. Thanks. I would have to say that my favorite series that I'm doing currently would have to be this Q&A series. And the simple fact is, it's hard to answer everybody's questions, even through comments, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all over the place, every social network that I have. But it's good to actually sit down, listen to people and their questions, read their questions over Twitter, actually be able to see them uh, using the hashtag that we have, Ask IKC, as well as looking in the YouTube comment section of 
over 300 comments about all different kinds of questions and even some people have even been challenging me I would love to see challenges like how many push-ups can you do how many pull-ups can you do how fast can you run how long can you run how high can you jump can you even dunk all different kinds of stuff man so i just definitely like the interaction of this q a series because it's the most interaction that i've gotten in a long time and it's actually taking me back to why i started youtube you know i started for the interaction and you know to try to comment back to everybody but you know with growth and having to try to be a daily uploader and trying to make banging series great videos nice content and you know i wear myself thin man being a father a full-time worker and a youtuber it's insane so you know i love the q a series because it kind of brings me back to that nice element all right ladies and gentlemen today's q a is done we have completed it thank you to everybody um i'm trying to you know nurse my hand back to health hopefully i'll be able to play some video games tonight and get you guys some great content um i'm about to you know do this unboxing of this benq monitor set up my desk and everything like that and i have so much stuff here like knock on wood man knock on wood i got i got drawers and everything man this is dope everything's in the arm reach man like i can literally reach right here and grab my nvidia shield i can reach right here and grab my gunners instead of actually running around the house you know trying to find them everything's in arm reach man it's pretty dope even if i reach up here can i grab it ah, i can even grab my machinima plaque you know what i'm saying I, I can grab all kinds of stuff off my new desk it's pretty dope um i, I got everything here man my, my astros they're in arms reach you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying my little hawk bobblehead you know what i'm saying like even my cannon is in arms reach like yeah, man, I ain't even know that y'all knew that I had that EOS, you know what I'm saying, that T3i. But, yeah, everything's in arm reach for me, man. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I got drawers everywhere. <laughs> but this is IKC sign. This is IKC signing out. Thank you, everybody, for watching today's Q&A video. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave a comment if you want to be a part of this series. Or you can hit me up over Twitter with the hashtag AskIKC with your question. And if you leave me a voicemail, say it with your chest, little nook.